Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. So the wardrobe, an expression of who you are and the first thing a lot of people are gonna notice when they see you in person. It's pretty important, but not in the way of impressing others. It's important on how it makes you feel inside. You see, there's a total difference from wearing a sloppy garment to a fly fit, not only for other people's eyes, which you really shouldn't care that much about, but for yourself. A wardrobe with a lot of options and great pieces goes a long way with how you tackle your day. Whether it's a suit, a new pair of kicks, or some accessories, all of which allows you to have that confidence and be involved with a certain community. So today we are going to talk about how to build a fly ass wardrobe. Now I just gotta say before we get into this, this is part of my wardrobe. This is just my taste. I don't, I don't really know how to dress, but these are just a few steps I took along my fashion journey and it's still under development and I hope it helps you guys out. So right now, I want you to picture this whole building your wardrobe thing like, like building a better physique or building that project car you've always wanted to do. This is going to take time and you always have to start somewhere. So let's get into it now. So the first way to build a fly wardrobe is to go join the workforce. Make some money, man. Now I know you don't need a lot of money to look fly, but you need at least like $2 to buy a shirt at Goodwill, so I don't wanna hear it. Like, you don't need a lot of money to build a better physique. You can just head to the park, do some pull-ups, do some dips, or you can just get like a $10 membership at a gym, and with your project car, you also need money to at least clean the car to make it look better. And I know a lot of you guys probably can't work because of school or you're just too busy, I get that. Cool, go shopping with your parents instead of having them shop for you. Or maybe be a responsible, independent kid and help out around the house or something like that. Do some dishes, vacuum the carpet, come on man. That way your parents can give you an allowance or something like that. Anyways, just follow the rest of the advice later on in this video. But that's the first thing, go make some money, go join the workforce, help out around the house, maybe learn how to resell or something like that. Just make, just make a few dollars. So now the second step is to actually study the craft. Most of you guys watching this video are probably into fashion, so start learning about it. Learn about the different styles, designers, the history of certain aesthetics and garments, cultures and all that, all of which are on this beautiful thing called the internet. I think once you learn all the terminologies of each branches of these hobbies, I really do think you start to develop a deeper interest into said hobby. Like I'm sure some of you guys probably don't even know what an anorak is. It's just one of those pullover windbreakers, it's just a fancy term for it. But learning the terms like React and Boost technology, DWR codings, watching how-to style videos, maybe studying what color blocking is, each of these terms have a lot of history behind it or it's a fundamental to styling yourself. Take fitness for example, I know all of you guys have watched some fitness YouTube videos, it's been around for a long time. So intermittent fasting, keto, leptin, hypertrophy, bro science. With modifying your cars, knowing terms like what coilovers are, stance or slammed cars, VTEC, you guys know what I'm talking about. Because the more cultured you are with a certain art or hobby, the more that you start to understand it, and the more that you understand it, the more taste you have. And the more taste you have, which leads to better taste, will lead to a more developed and fly wardrobe. Okay, so those first two were mindset stuff. Now we can actually throw clothes on our body. And you guys are gonna kinda see a progression type of thing whenever it comes to these points. And that's the whole point of building a wardrobe. You start somewhere and then it just develops over time. So now what you can focus on after getting those two dollars and studying the craft a little bit, it's time to pick up some clothes and like with a lot of YouTubers are going to say, because it is actually a really great start, just pick up basics and neutral colors, you know, the essentials. So the reason why you start here is because colors like cream, white, gray, black, navy, and olive are stupid easy to color block. They pair with pretty much everything. You really can't mess this up. You get versatility, wallet savings, and you still look fly as well, if you know how to style it. Which goes back to number two of studying the craft. So pick up those neutral colored crew necks, a pair of skinny black denim, a pair of Vans, maybe a bomber jacket. All of these are a great start to getting into the hobby of fashion. Because if you guys saw my last video, starter packs, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a great start. And then once you get the fundamental pieces in your wardrobe, you know how to style it from watching some videos. Eventually you will start to kind of see that you look like a lot of other people, which there's nothing wrong with that as well. But then you might just get bored of that aesthetic or those colors. So then you can progress to bolder colors. You can mess with layering or maybe throw on some patterns and then eventually you're gonna to start to wear what you like. And this is a really good thing because that means your wardrobe is starting to develop its own character. It's like growing levels with Pokemon. You know, you start off with your little Torchic, it evolves to a Combuskin and it evolves to a Blaziken. But anyways, now you can start to define your interest. Everyone's got one. For me, I'm a huge Breaking Bad and Star Wars fan. So rocking garments or aesthetics that represent that interest is going to represent you. All of which are going to express who you are more than just an olive t-shirt, 
some skinny black denim and white sneakers. So depending on your interest, you might move from skinny black denim to let's say cargo pants like me. Or you may move from a military bomber to a worker's Sherpa jacket. Think about this like modifying your car. You start with the basics first. The easiest thing you can start off with is cleaning your car, cleaning your interior, shining the interior. Maybe switch out your dome lights for LEDs. These were my first mods to my car. And then eventually you can move to installing a lip or switching out the headlight assembly. And that's about where I stopped because I am moving back to New York City and I don't need no car. But you guys get the point. Now with hitting the gym, you start with the basics as well. Have a solid nutrition plan. You can't out train a bad diet. Doing full body workouts and incorporating compound lifts is what's going to build you a better physique. Then you can start switching up your nutrition and your workouts. Maybe you switch to push pull legs and then you just skip legs all together. I know you probably do it. Getting the basics down first allows you to develop your own personal style, which in turn leads to developing a fly wardrobe. Next up, let's talk about the accessories. I think accessories are the best way to express who you are as a person. And it's also going to really separate you from another person who's also wearing the same exact fit. I know I sound like a broken record now, but man, so many guys are not trying accessories. I don't know why I don't see that many people rocking necklaces or bracelets and all that. I started out with necklaces ever since I was like seven. I've always worn them growing up. You know, I was Buddhist back then, so I'd always have a gold chain with the boot on it. It was a great look, I was just a kid, but express who I was as a person. Started a lot of conversations, a lot of people rubbing the belly, but then eventually I lost that necklace. Sorry, dad. And then I moved on to beaded bracelets and then on to rings, throwing on some headgear, sling bags. The whole point with buying pieces, accessories and all that is you don't buy everything all at once. You start off the little things, the basics, and then eventually you move on to the more advanced items. Like when I got into rings, I started off with these ones from Amazon, plain and minimal, nothing crazy. And now, you know, I've I started to wear a ton of different rings, you know, these angel wings, talon claws, and all that. And now recently, I've been incorporating glasses to my outfits. Oh yeah, and you guys are probably wondering where I got these glasses from. These are actually from the sponsor of today's video, Jade Black. Really makes a huge difference to the fit, right? Anyways, Jade Black is a company that makes glasses and shades for men. And I've worked with them a ton lately, you guys already know, but I've always talked about their shades. But this time, I wanna talk to you guys about their Prism Collection. So I've always worn blue blocker glasses ever since I went through my hustle 243765, always on my grind, you can't stop me. Yeah, I feel like everyone went through this phase. Jesus, that was a bad time. But anyways, in today's age, we are always staring at digital screens. These screens from, let's say, your laptop, your cell phone, your TV, all of these emit blue lights that can cause eye strain and poor sleeping patterns. And if you're on these devices at night, this blue light is telling your brain, hey bro, it's still daylight out. So your melatonin levels are like, all right, he's probably outside, he's probably getting some food to fuel the body. When in reality, you're just scrolling through Instagram, double tapping my pictures, and hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm guys to bless my channel with love. Okay, no, seriously, you're not going to sleep well. I know I wasn't, but these glasses are actually going to block that light and still allows you to use your device at night, but also helps you fall asleep and get better sleep with ease. Trust me, ever since I got glasses like these, I've been able to fall asleep a lot easier, but those glasses I used to use back then made me look like a freaking weirdo. It was orange lenses, and then whenever you take them off, all you see is blue. These ones from Jade Black are actually made really well. They're made with an Italian cellulose acetate. They actually block the blue light, and they look super stylish as well. Now check this out, this is a blue blocker tester and clearly you can see that it blocks the blue light whenever I shine it on the card. And then whenever I move the glasses over it, it actually blocks the blue light, which is exactly what it's going to do for your eyes. All of which are going to be at an affordable price of $49. You can still rock it with your fits without looking like a weirdo. And because you guys watch my channel, you're also going to get a discount code. So go ahead and click the link in the description. My discount code is there. It's going to save you guys some money. And these are also a great Valentine's gift for your boot. Trust me. So thank you Jade Black for sponsoring this video and also just want to thank you guys as well for any of the support you guys have. Even just watching the videos truly means a lot to me. But let's move on to the next one. Now the next part of building a nice wardrobe is to understand what to splurge on. So I only think you should really splurge on two items and those are jackets and sneakers. Obviously you can go higher value on basics and neutrals. If you are like me and you actually care about durability, it's not necessary but with jackets and shoes I think it's necessary. Because one, Bang for the buck is real here. Because with, let's just say, a pair of jeans, you're not gonna notice a $100 pair of jeans to a $40 pair of jeans. But sneakers and jackets, man, they have a huge impact to your actual outfit. A great pair of sneakers, let's say the Jordan 1s, are pricey, 
but it drastically can change how an outfit will look. I'm all about cheap sneakers too. Vans, you can never go wrong with. But over time, like I said before, your taste is going to start to develop. You might get bored of a certain style of sneaker and you might gravitate towards new ones. The jacket covers a ton of real estate on your body. So splurging on it to get a better look from let's just say a regular denim jacket to a more functional parka jacket, cool, I'm all for that. Because you can always rock basics and neutrals with these items because those are mainly statement pieces and it's still gonna look great. And last but not least, you guys are gonna wanna diversify your inspirations. And you guys are probably wondering what I mean. So. I wanna take you guys back to uh, when I went to the Essentials pop-up. I actually met this guy, um, Blake Sky. He's from the Gents Lounge. I also saw this kid. He looked exactly like Blake Sky. I, I kid you not. From the glasses, to the hair, to the actual outfit. I almost mistaken him for Blake because he was literally the copy of him. Now I wanna be clear, there's nothing wrong with this at all. We all have our inspirations, I get it. Back when I started this channel, pretty cringe, I dressed exactly like Richie Lee and Jose Zuniga. And I also made the same exact content as them. And that's kind of what I see a lot of guys doing right now. Just diversify who you watch and where you get your inspirations from. And I'm serious about this. Don't only just watch my channel. Watch others on YouTube. There's a ton of other great channels out there and not just men's fashion channels. Check out the ladies like Agent, Claire Marshall, Ashley from Best Dress. Super great channels. I've watched these channels for a long time as well. Like I said before, read up on articles on the history of items, certain aesthetics, the actual culture. Just go really deep into it instead of just watching your favorite YouTuber or following Outfit Society. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't want you guys to stay that way forever. And I also think this is just part of the process. You gotta go through those phases of men's fashion, which I already made a video on. Like we all have our phases in life, you know? Back when uh, you were born in 93 to let's just say 97, you probably either went through a ghetto gangster phase or an emo skater phase back in middle school. Don't lie to me. Then you probably go through the phase of caring what other people think about you. Then maybe your overcompensating phase and okay, I'm just roasting myself now. But you guys get the point. You gotta go through these phases to become a more respectable, mature human being. Just like you gotta go through those fashion phases to develop a more respectable, more mature and stylish wardrobe. That's all a part of life. Just be glad that your taste is actually changing. That just means you're making progress and you're into the culture. All right, fellas, I hope this video helps you out. Like I said, it's just like your hobby. Splurge on that cat back exhaust. Accessorize with a headband, duffel bag, or wrist straps. Fashion is the exact same thing. You start off by learning about it and eventually you start to develop your own share and taste of the culture and you can truly express who you are instead of just mimicking. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTai. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below. What was your favorite Pokemon game growing up? And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. Thank you Jade Black for sponsoring this video. I'm out, bro. Peace.